It's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's Sunday reset. We're going to be getting my home clean and ready for the week. And I'm also going to be sharing a delicious recipe at the very end. So let's get started. So Sundays are typically the day that I wash all of our bedding. So I went ahead and popped that in the washer first thing in the morning before I even got ready so that way it could be washed. And when I was ready to start my Sunday reset, I could just pop it in the dryer. So while that bedding is drying, we're gonna go ahead and start on getting our kitchen nice and tidy. It wasn't too dirty. We had some dishes from breakfast that my husband washed. I wanted to go ahead and dry those and get them put away. So now that we have those dishes put away, I wanna go ahead and unload the dishwasher. So that way when we make dinner later on, I can just pop the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. So I wanted to wipe down that countertop very quickly so that way I'm not loading clean dishes on a dirty counter. You guys will have to let me know, how do you unload the dishwasher? What's the fastest way for you? Do you unload everything on the counter and then walk it and put it away? Or do you walk each like individual item? You'll have to let me know your favorite way. I try to do the fastest way. I think the fastest way is to unload everything on the counter and then walk it, but who knows? I did a mix of both in this video. Make sure you walk around your house and gather any like mugs or glasses. I always find something after I'm done cleaning the kitchen. So today I did a walkthrough, grab those mugs, grab that cup, load it in the dishwasher, and then you guys know I hand wash my gold silverware. If you have gold silverware, don't trust that it says dishwasher safe. I promise they're lying to you. Gold does not go in the dishwasher. I learned the hard way. So hand wash that. And then I'm also wiping down these soap pumps. These are linked on my Amazon storefront under cleaning essentials. I've had these forever. I love them. The labels are starting to peel off, but it does come with a variety of labels. It comes with like shampoo, conditioner, body wash. So I'm thinking about peeling these off and then using the new stickers that I haven't used yet and add it into the master bath. We'll see. I like switching things up, so we'll see, but love those pumps. I can also just like use my Cricut and remake them, but We'll see what I decide, but I'm gonna go ahead and scrub out the kitchen sink. I usually do this last in my cleaning routine, but it was just really dirty and bothering me. So went ahead and took care of it now. So I'm using my Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice. It's like the perfect fall cleaning spray. You guys have to pick it up the next time you're at Target. I love the mum one too. That one smells amazing. It's so fun to have like a seasonal cleaning spray. And I didn't even have to light a candle this day. I usually like to light a candle, but this spray had my kitchen smelling just heavenly. So I'm wiping down all of my cabinets. They're white, you see everything on them. So I like to wipe these down very 
very well at least once a week. I usually actually do it every few days, but giving it a good wipe down and getting them nice and clean. We're gonna wipe down this counter super fast. I try to remember to clean from the top to the bottom. Doesn't always happen that way, but I try to remember to do that. So wipe the counter down and now let's wipe down all of the bottom cabinets. down right now we have our trash can in it so it gets really dirty super fast but just a reminder if it's been some time since you cleaned out the inside of your trash can take that outside give it a good spray down we just did ours it was disgusting in there we had to take it outside and hose it down i couldn't imagine cleaning it inside so look in the inside of your trash can and it's probably time to get that clean too And one of you guys shared with me a while ago to use a glass cleaner to clean my stainless steel. And that was seriously my favorite cleaning tip. I've been doing that way ever since. I'll occasionally wipe it down with a multi-surface spray, but it just doesn't get nearly as clean as using glass cleaner. It can't be the foamy glass cleaner. It has to be like Windex. Something about the foamy one doesn't work, but it just gets your stainless steel perfectly shiny. If you all have any cleaning tips, definitely leave it down in the comment section. Help this community out. I'm always loving to hear some new ways to clean my home. I'm not gonna lie tonight. You don't get everything you like. Cause I'm not ready. If I'm not ready. I'm not gonna lie tonight. You don't get everything you like. Cause I'm not ready. If I'm not ready. All right, we're gonna vacuum and mop these floors in the kitchen and we're gonna be ready to move right on along and get the rest of our house clean. All I really need, but if I'm honest, I know this whole thing has been a sign that I'm running out of time. I'm not gonna lie tonight, you don't get everything you like, cause I'm not ready, if I'm not ready. So another cleaning task that I had on my Sunday reset to-do list is to deep clean the master bathroom. So I shared with you all in several videos back that I love to clean the shower while I'm in it. I just find that the easiest way. But once a month, I just like to take everything out and do like more of so a deeper clean. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm removing all of the products outside the shower. I like to keep the caddy in there so I can clean it while I'm cleaning the shower. 
All right, step one to getting your shower super clean is take off that sweatshirt. This is quite the workout and I broke a sweat doing this, but it is so worth it when you have a nice and clean shower to start the week. So you want to wet the shower down completely, spray it down with a ton of that Dawn Power Wash. And I'm using this little scrubber I got from Target with a handle. I love this because the handle can adjust to be super long, super short, whatever you need it. So I'm constantly like pushing it up and down. I had an electric one that I loved, but I didn't like how I couldn't control how long the handle was. So it was really hard to get in like certain areas. So love this one. I will link it down below. So you want to give everything a good scrub. And then I have a brush that I use in my shower. I have two of these. One I like to use in my sink, one I like to use in my shower to just get those little spots that this big scrubber can't get. Now that you got it scrubbed down, go ahead and hose it down with some water, wipe away all that soap, and we're gonna do that same step again. I'm already in here, so I wanna make sure the shower is clean. I don't like any soap residue. I don't do this deep clean very often, so when I do do it, I'm gonna do it right. the shower walls are nice and clean like it looks brand new you guys that dawn power wash just works amazing in the shower i've tried a lot of cleaning products in the shower and dawn power wash is my favorite by far so now we're doing that same step on the bottom scrubbed it we're going to rinse it and then the next final step that you're going to do once everything is rinsed all that soap is away you're going to get some foamy bleach spray and you're going to spray that all over your shower that's not only going to disinfect your shower it's also going to get rid of any leftover soap scum if you have it that the dawn power wash did not get up Now that you have that bleach spray sprayed in the shower, let it sit for 15 minutes and then you're going to rinse it away and your shower will be the cleanest it probably has ever been. So while that bleach spray is sitting and doing its magic, we're moving on to getting the rest of our bathroom clean. I'm using Spray Away for my glass and I love Spray Away. It gets the glass super, super clean. So now we're using the Clorox Sentiva spray to wipe down the tops of the countertops and also the cabinet as well. I used the Sentiva spray and paper towel on the toilet, gave that a good scrub down, didn't feel like you guys needed to see that. And then I used my Clorox wand super fast, cleaned out the inside, just wanted to share a little clip so you know that I cleaned the toilet. It's been over 15 minutes by this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out that Clorox spray and my shower was so, so clean. I'm gonna leave that little scrub brush in there so it can dry out before I store it back where it belongs. Why can't you see it? So we 
just have a few more things to do in this bathroom deep clean. So I'm using some Rain-X to clean the shower doors. This just gets the glass super clean and also repels that water. So that way there's no water marks like after taking a shower. Make sure you clean that lip of the bottom portion of your shower, that gets so dirty. So gave that a good wipe down. And now we're just going to vacuum the floors quickly and then I'm gonna be pulling out my steam mop to steam mop these floors. So good to have that bathroom deep cleaned. And now we're moving right on along to the master bedroom. I want to clean in here. I feel like I should start wearing my Apple Watch when I clean, cause I know I had to burn some calories getting that bathroom done. I broke quite the sweat, but we got it done. So now I'm just adding the bedding back on the bed, getting the sheets, the duvet, everything nice and fresh and ready for the week. that we have fresh sheets on the bed that is ready for the week. Let's go ahead and wipe down all the surfaces. I'm gonna be wiping down all of the glass and wood in the master bedroom. So we did those mirrors above the nightstands, we're wiping down the nightstands, the chest, the dresser. I'm gonna wipe down this big floor length mirror. Just get the room nice and clean. Sunday reset routines. I share with you guys cleaning motivation. I share a grocery haul and a recipe. We didn't need to go to the grocery store this week. We had a fridge full of food. We had a meal kit delivery service delivered on Saturday. So we were good to go for the week. We have been loving to use that a couple of times a month. It just makes it really nice. You don't have to plan out your meals. You get healthy food sent to you. So we have been loving to do that. But we're going to finish this master bedroom out by vacuuming and mopping the floors and I'm going to be sharing a delicious recipe with you guys. So now I'm gonna be sharing with you all how to make my salmon rice bowls. I've been seeing these all over TikTok and I had to create my own version of it. And I must say that this recipe is so good. We have this recipe like once a week, it's that good, you guys. But first thing you wanna start with is making the marinade. It's really simple. This is what you're going to let the salmon marinate in so it's nice and flavorful. Thank you. 
So let that sauce sit to the side. We're gonna be using that in just a sec. So let's go ahead and chop up our salmon. We like to use two pounds so we can have two dinners out of this. So my husband and I will eat this tonight and then we'll have it for lunch the next day. So I season up the salmon with salt and pepper and I chopped it in small bite-sized pieces. Then you want to add it to that marinade that we made and you wanna make sure the salmon is completely coated in that sauce. You wanna let it marinate for at least 30 minutes. You can even do overnight if you want to I'll pop it in the fridge. And of course we need a green. So I am chopping up some cucumber and just like bite sized pieces. And then I just use like a splash of some rice vinegar and some salt pepper. And it is so good. And usually with this rice bowl, I will have it with some avocado on the side, but we were out of avocado. But if you have some, definitely chop up some avocado to have on the side. Now, this step is what takes this recipe to the next level, air frying your salmon. We like to get it super, super crispy, but you can cook it forever long you want to cook yours for. You want to really make sure the salmon is as dry as possible. That's gonna get it extra, extra crispy. And then make sure to keep that extra sauce. We heat it up in like a small saucepan so that I can have a finishing sauce to drizzle on top of the salmon when it's done. So I did about 20 minutes. Look how crispy the salmon is, you guys. It was so good. But serve this on a bed of white rice with your cucumbers. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.